That's it, isn't it? That is. That's cool, that's cool, lovely. Ready? Mm. Right, this is a poem called And We're All Made of Tiki Tacky, which is very self-referential for what we're doing right now. Oh, Zeus, we haven't heard of you for such a long time. Ah, Yahweh, yes, we can see you, but we can't hear you. And Allah, we can hear you, but not see you. If you look down to the left, you can see the icon. Yeah, turn your video on. Now, who isn't here, or rather not all here? Unmute yourselves, please. I see on the chat line that, alas, Buddha can't make it, and the Dharmic religions offer their apologies. Let's see, who are we waiting for? Oh, there's someone in the waiting room, the second coming. I'll just let him in. Ping! Okay, shall we begin then? I am who am, the Lord God of Zoom. And here we go, zooming across the known universe in our little boxes, little boxes. And we're all made of tiki tacky, we're all built the same. Thank you. Uh, and this is written for David Cook. It's uh, called An Rudd Dúrt Ein Bioglum, which is the Irish for a little bird told me. Uh, and it's from Ecclesiastics. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which had wings shall tell the matter. Oh, said the bird, a human who, and I never saw such a surprised starling, can understand our language. You can speak, I blurted out. So I see can you, gasped the starling. The strange thing is, I frame my words carefully, we can understand each other, the starling finished my sentence. But how? Being human, I had to ask. Forget the hows and whys, friend Starling replied. Just relish the moment that the such and suchness of it all. I made up my mind to do so. Everything talks if you only listen. The Starling continued its lesson. The mountains talk to the seas continuously. The Starling so informed me. But humans never ever, well, hardly ever listen, chirped the Starling playfully. I see it had been listening to Gilbert and Sullivan. And... The starling went on. It was us birds who taught them. I could tell it was proud of the whole nation of birds. Well, I'll be, I said. Yes, said the starling, a poet. Poets know the language of everything. The starling started as a status as if it were a law. What the reed in the rushes told the lake or how the sky sees and says it all, then its feathers trembled with the change in the air. Well, I must fly, chuckled the starling. Well, well, boomed the sky in perfect blueness. Was that a human I saw you talking to? It thundered its fastness, dark clouds looming on its horizon. No, not me, lied the starling, for whatever reason. Hmm, him the sky suspiciously. He looked a bit Irish to me. He'll gail gar behown, gum er curabe, stammered the starling. And the day continued on, talking to time incessantly. <laughs> This is called Be Thou My Vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save what thou art. On a bitter winter morning, we stand and sing an ancient Irish hymn. I in my wellies, given it as much welly as a little boy can. I hold my father's hand, he squeezes mine. But it is not to him I sing, but to my own dad. My father is my heaven. Here on earth I have known for all of my seven years. I close my eyes and sing with everything I got. Thou my great father, I die, I thy true son. I understand the words from the inside out. Thou and thou only first in my heart. My treasure thou art. The winter of 63, lost in the blizzard of time. Now I hold my father's hand as he lies dying. He squeezes mine. I sing to him in my mound, mind. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waken or sleeping, thy presence, my light. He lets go of my hand. He sings for him, heart of my own heart whatever before. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. A, a, a typically passionate performance.